So, I heard some people want us to react to this, but I kind of, the kind of guys are uh, somewhat busy. Ugh, I can't speak today and I don't know why. Anyway, I have watched, like, Warlock. Is it any more Lockia? God damn. Warlockia. I've watched a few videos of his, okay? Even if I can't pronounce his name correctly for some reason today. Uh, some of his stuff alright is good. I can't watch most of it because I'm busy nowadays for the most part. And his videos are going into an hour usually. But I do like to hear his insight. I haven't watched this video, so... This is Plant Alcatraz. What if oh, made a RPG? God damn. That's all in Russian. Planet I can't Alcatraz read Russian. This is a 2006 RPG in which a Soviet boomer explains what other races are really like and what, what the woman's role in society is. Oh my god. A content warning. There is no millennial RPG more politically incendiary than Planet Alcatraz. Dear god, just do Two seconds in. Of course, there's dogs barking in the background. Why wouldn't there be in my the time when I'm reacting to something? But, okay. okay. Dear God, that, that man's wearing... I'm not even going to say it, because you guys know what it is. And I'm just... Uh, what do I even say about this? What What do I even say about the Starless? That is a hell of a way to start a conversation, but... Given... Mm, some of the things I've learned from his videos about how some people in Russia think. It's, it should not be that all surprising to me, but it still is, because, come on. Uh, and some people think other people are worried about Americans being racist. Dear God, look at some of the stuff that they're doing in here. This video is Dear God. safe, but when you see Flowey from Undertale show up in the corner of the screen like this, it means something fucked up is about to follow. There is a oh, wonderful. We're gonna have to deal with that in a bit, but yeah. I, I just don't know. Uh, but yeah. Never deal with like, normal racism. This is mega level racism. It's unknown to foreigners is because, well, the original is almost entirely written in untranslatable Russian prison jargon. Wait, the what? The English version is supposedly very heavily censored. You just yeah, that makes know sense. It's going to be an experience when a game starts with the lead writer walking to the camera to explain himself. He's calling himself Goblin. Why? Welcome to the video game Planet Alcatraz. Okay. The game is masterfully created based on a book I wrote. The book is about the difficult fate oh of the Special God. Operations Brigade Deadhead, best commandos in the galaxy. The game what? is also about these wonderful people. Wonderful people, quote unquote. And in front of you is Dmitry Goblin Puchkov. He is responsible for Why this is game he called and Goblin? Uh, for about half of the Russian online culture. Born oh, in 1961 wonderful. in Kirovograd. Mother worked in a school for the disabled. Father okay. was a Soviet instructor of the North Korean army. Dmitry was there we go. Drafted in the military in 1980, drove a truck, became a... So for those who don't mean why, there you go. It's kind of obvious where he got this indoctrination thoughts of dear god Sergeant. during the following turbulent period he found employment as a taxi driver blacksmith locksmith plumber electrician that is a librarian assistant driller dear god. engineer hydrogeologist how and much a did... xerox machine salesman in how? 1992 he became how? a cop claims did he, he... did he loot there's no way you could work all those jobs unless you're just working non-stop because you can't work them all at once they either have to be like short hours doing each between them, or he was losing jobs and having to change jobs constantly. He read the Gulag Archipelago by Solzhenitsyn and wanted to see if it was all true. Which what? Which changed a number of police-related professions. First, he worked with police dogs, then okay. in a prison, and then as a criminal investigator. A journalist wrote an article critical of cops, calling them goblins in police coats. That's why Pushkov I use this took goblin. This as his online handle. When I said he invented half of the Russian online culture, that was oh barely an exaggeration. Puchkov ran, and still runs, one of the first blogs in the Russian internet. He translated 
Nominated for oh, movies, what? wrote for early gaming magazines and Weird. websites. His specialization were boomer shooters, or as they were known back then, shooters. Dude. Quake was <laughs> favorite game. Known as they were known as shooters. Yeah. Understandably, or basically just called Doom clones. Were they called that back then, or was, was that just a thing now? Tactics, early esports, about Team Fortress, not this Team Fortress. Okay. Not this Team Fortress. Okay. One, what? The original. Puchkov authored several. That's the original. Books, became a YouTube pioneer, and here is Goblin a month ago in a Zwastika event. That's the story so far. Oh. Given the trajectory, we could see President Goblin at some point. So it what makes sense hell? for us to examine the art he makes. <laughs> Planet Alcatraz. Is a role playing game. As you complete the mission, you get to visit exotic places, meet colorful characters, and shoot them if you so wish. The game's story is non linear. The consequences of words and actions might surprise you. Be careful. What? Um. What I've known from some of the other videos is usually when they say non linear, it usually means if you don't follow the exact thing I want you to do or say, you will die. That's what they usually mean by non-linear. Understand that the game's events take place in a very peculiar place. A prison planet populated with okay. scum, rapists, murderers, cannibals, and racists. This... That just sounds like a penal world on from 40k, honestly, but yeah, Garbage go on. doesn't respond well to humane treatment. You'll what? have to be uncompromising and tough. We are a member of the sabotage and reconnaissance group Upir, which means okay. a vampire or a ghoul in Russian. Seaman Silence is a prison planet. Well, that's the first Russian word I know besides da. Somewhere on the periphery of our vast Duh. star empire. The planet's oh. named after a really existing federal prison in Moscow. The Imperial Intelligence oh. received word that the inmates are secretly assembling a starship. Our task is to infiltrate the planet undercover, posing as prisoners, okay. find the location of the illegal starship, and destroy it. Makes sense. This is what Wait. hyperspace Wait, I just had a thought. Why don't they just destroy it from... Well, actually, they don't know where it is, so... They wouldn't be able to destroy it from space then, I guess. But wait, couldn't they just destroy it as soon as it launched? Like, just keep a ship above it? Looks like the Empire is incredibly technologically advanced. The protagonist of the game is a soldier called Kaban. As a man okay. in the service, he doesn't just fuck around doing whatever. He executes the order given to him. Okay. Isn't that what a normal Kaban's soldier a does? He is a true internationalist. He equally hates moral freaks of any shade of skin color. The oh, wow. That's, uh, wow. Yeah, we're starting off to a great start here. He means boar in Russian. We can tweak the appearance sliders here, but uh, no matter what we do, Kaban will be distinctly Kaban shaped. The RPG Kaban shaped. Is a dollar store Fallout. The Imperial weapon skill is kind of like the energy weapons in Fallout 1 and 2. It's meaningless to take it early, but the Imperial weapons are powerful late game items. Oh, we select okay. thievery and melee as Kaban's preferred skills, as is recommended by any guide. Okay. Nobody will leave unsatisfied, irrespective of race Dear and God. nationality. Kill them all. Isn't that just a... What the... F <laughs> I can't even start with that joke, because what the hell am I listening to? Uh, I'm very thankful that uh, I at least kind of understand what the hell is going on. I mean, I'm glad war... I'm just going to call him Warlock right now, because I can't know how to exactly pronounce his name i'm gonna get it right one of these days but it's, today is not the day i'm glad that he translates this kind of thing because i am interested in kind of the culture for around in eastern Bloc countries but this is uh kaban wakes up after a crash landing he was left for dead his friends there... are gone two locals approach us okay sweet white man come alive me love a live white man better than dead. What? What be your name, princess? Planet Alcatraz plays kind of like an Infinity Engine game. What the hell? the first half of the experience, Kaban will be adventuring solo. We won't reassemble our Space Marine squad until much later. Space Marines? I Kaban gather potatoes. It's important to do this.
this since the other notable difference between this and an Infinity Engine game is the potato-based combat system. What? In battle, the single most important variable is the number of healing consumables we have in oh, our Oh, that's what he means. And potatoes. He just constantly heals so that he can redo all the damage because he's just gonna get beat up otherwise. Or he's just gonna the die. The Alcatraz word for a black person is a negro. It's not supposed to be what? derogatory. This used to be a what? common way of referring to people of African heritage in the post-Soviet space. That's... Wow. I don't even know what to think about that. Uh, uh, I'm getting a slight headache from all this crazy bull. But I'll continue onwards. Note that people who made this game almost certainly never met many black people, or possibly not even a single black person in their entire life. I want... <laughs> Uh, that's not surprising to me, considering how they're making them talk. There simply weren't many individuals of African descent in the USSR. That's also Later, true. we'll meet a character who explains that there are two distinct groups of black people on the planet. The first group are the sophisticated blacks who live near the Aryan town. Dear they God! Seem to have been modeled based on Russian understanding of what the African American culture is like. And the okay. second group are essentially just European colonial stereotypes, like the old ones from the Age of Sail. Members of this community uh, uh, are the stupid. They believe in magic As a half Mexican man, I don't know dangerous. what to think about any of uh, I know what to think about it. It's fucking insane. <laughs> like, when people don't know how to uh, how to involve other people of other ethnicities, maybe they just shouldn't. Maybe they just shouldn't, because <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Uh. Speak the human language properly. Another major ethnic group are the Asians, or the Chinamen, like the game calls them. They Dear God, we're off. Is use... there any more racist stereotypes we're going to get into, or racist words we're going to get into? You know what? It's an Eastern Bloc game made by a Russian dude, so of course it's going to be... Yeah. A dude who believes Russian is the best. Russia is everything. Of course it's gonna be like this. What am I talking about? Weapons from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and say L instead of R. And what? then much later oh, we the Aryans that's what you who mean. dress in Wehrmacht uniforms and occasionally use German words in dialogue. Oh the wow. Aryans are hated by everybody, by the Asians, blacks, and even other whites. A white man from a flying box. My spear will beat your spear. What? When the game disrespects someone, it makes fun of the way they talk. As we are about to battle the inhabitants okay. of the little tutorial camp, the two survivors from the pod are about to make their escape. It's a little confusing, but these two are not our squad members, just some random inmates that arrived with us. Oh. Wait. Oh. Stop. I came here for you, victims of justice. My name is Hamster, and from now on... You hamster? Are my daughters. Move it, mutants. March. What? It's important to avoid getting surrounded, because even weak enemies can stunlock you. Mui. Doing battle is the only way of achieving victory in battle, says Caban the philosopher. What? The inventory <laughs> management. That's <laughs> fucking stupid. Why the would you say that? Sophisticated more so than combat you can play dress up there are several layers of clothing kind of like in Morrowind most what he just said is the dumbest thing uh, well not what Warlock said but what the character said it's just it's like literally saying in order to fight you must fight game guns are one shot improvised firearms okay like so the, the pipe, pipe weapons, weapons from Fallout yeah. 4 except these are discarded after use back when they were making this game there was this popular movie about a veteran of the war in Chechnya going to New York to take revenge on an American businessman the what? movie had a scene with an improvised firearm that looked very similar to the ones featured in the game the final thing to do in the okay so it got influenced by a movie monster, of the region thanks to all the carrots we collect this what is, is that? Is that a gorilla? Caban managed to surprise the mysterious man from earlier, but then okay. he himself gets surprised. Oh my god, there's another dude behind him. Industrial zone. It's a walled prison where inmates work until they die. A gulag. I like this concept art a lot. The ghouls in charge collect the disoriented prisoners okay. dropped for morbid and work them to death, making something. 
So, we only yeah, it's a gulag. From a full drop, the chest fell hard. Many got crushed. There was a squabble. We got whoever we could. No reason to squabble over this one. Don't you see he has a stage 3 syphilis? What? The zone is huge, and this is just one area out of several. Okay, whoever wrote this game literally knows nothing about nothing except Russian propaganda. Is Honestly, it's not what I'm getting from this. It's something that I already knew from this, because... Dear God, what can I say? What can I say? That isn't just... Uh, I wish I had my friends here to help suffer through this with me. I do like how well he's explaining this because there, there's obviously a lot of Russian concepts that I wouldn't get in. Would just Lover assume design. they were. This is not the world. Map. Well, being this more racist than they already are. This is the Promzona map. It's basically a city. Our goal is to escape. In this okay. dialogue, we can choose to either be polite or rude to the guard, and this is the single most important choice in the Promzona. If we talk shit, they put us in the isolation where we meet this guy who tells us about his escape plan. If we follow this branch, we eventually become a local electrician, I think. Okay. But if we are polite to the guards who. Are very clearly a privileged caste in the gulag we can become one of them so be rude become an electrician be polite become a guard you can't claim the choices here don't have consequences except uh -huh. the sad consequences are a little random and arbitrary what hey goober a new arrival is extra confrontational not accustomed to discipline. Okay. we thought he was so. your kind of patient what was Let's that? appreciate just how good the combat theme is. It's energetic and, I don't know, ironic? Fits the tone of the game well. I and guess so. Planet Alcatraz has very few music tracks, but a lot of combat. We'll be hearing this track a lot. The main okay. issue I have with this place is that being a gulag, it's very bland visually. But the game suddenly became... I mean, I feel like a prison camp would be very, you know, bland visually. I'm not sure how I would make that look, but that's just me, so who knows. Oh, we're gonna have to keep going through this, but we'll see where we're going. Came a lot more fun once I don't know I where I'm going. You don't know where I'm going. Stealing items. It's very easy to steal crap from other inmates, and you get XP per item based on its value. I got two levels in five minutes, an actual functioning industrial facility. Huh. And this is what Oof. they make here in the gulag. Rats? Guns. We are oh. asked to test fire some of the designs and then give our opinion on them. Caban is a space marine, so he's knowledgeable in this kind of stuff. Selling all the garbage. Wait, is he, is he quite literally a space marine in this universe, or... Is he just making fun of using 40k terms? I don't know at this point because the term space ringing has can be swinging around a lot in a lot of different fiction. Gark. The assets in the mines feel like they were borrowed from another game, which they it, might uh, have been. Yeah. Planet Alcatraz was made on the engine of Dawn of Magic, a fantasy what? RPG that looks like this. And here is a screenshot of a very early prototype with sprite graphics. That I just looks like Fallout 1 or 2. I played a b I played through Fallout One. I was trying to get a video out to you guys over on YouTube, but uh, they haven't gotten back. The people that were supposed to be editing for me hadn't gotten back to me, so you know. But yeah, it just straight up looks like Fallout One or Two. I like this style. This is the engine Knyaz was made on, another little-known fantasy RPG. Hmm. From Zona is multi-ethnic. The leader of one of the black factions is called Snowball, which is a Stanley Kubrick uh, reference. Dmitry Pushkin didn't become famous for writing Quake articles. He became famous for translating foreign movies. Oh, Kubrick's yeah. Full Metal Jacket had one of them goblin translations. The game references the movie several times. Oh. Yeah, so basically he translated for a bunch of movies and started putting references in his games to them. Copanorama is a Russian stand-up TV show from the 90s. Dad humor. What does it have oh. to do with the game? Nothing. It rhymes with Rama, which is a Hindu god Kaban invokes to make fun of the gulag cultists. Okay, like so basically so he's just making references to make reference to things that he likes. I mean... Other writers have done that before, believe it or not. A gym. They have a bench, another bench, and this okay. thing for squats that can double as a bench. This is the most Wait, broad no... gym ever, and I completely <laughs> approve. 
What the hell? Kaban dancing and singing is the effect of alcohol or drugs. Oh. Gulag discotheque. Eventually, Goover, the boss, promotes us. He complains that the inmates are fleeing from Zona on a train. Interesting. Okay. The game's UI has a dedicated button for extorting money. Kaban really? Kaban yells a bunch of obscenities and the victim either surrenders their possessions or tells him to go fuck himself. I think it depends on the authority stat or whatever it's called. Unfortunately, what the hell? Kaban's comfy life in the Gulag is about to come to an end. It's all because of a misunderstanding. The driver is chained to the train. What? Because if we fight off the black shirts, we can escape together. I didn't even say yes. Hmm? Hey, you scabic mite. Who give you permission to come near the train? We are under uh. orders to kill for this kind of shit. Brothers, we have another Aryan oh my spy. God. Get him. What the fuck? The so they're just attacking me as I think. Because we're so overleveled thanks to all that pickpocket XP. Oh. You're the constant picker. Wow, no sounds. Finally, we're somewhere else. The Promzona episode isn't terrible, but it really started to drag by the end. Oh, giant wolf rat thing. Kaban, this is not a good time. <laughs> These sounds. That's a human pretending to be a giant mutant rat that's dying. Can Speaking of things what the hell? to be something they're not. The game was masterfully created based on the book I wrote. I don't want to give you a false impression that I'm a reader of books. A booker. Is that I mean, term? Thanks to I get, I'm not sure what the term is now for someone that just reads books. I would just, just be a reader, I guess. But then again, it literally everything, almost everything involves reading. Hmm. But yeah, this does not look like it's gonna be a good book. You know what Sorry if I just suddenly stopped. Same energy. This book is what? fucking weird. It begins with a what short science fiction. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Impression that I am a reader of books, a booker. I need to say term. this. Thanks to your Patreon donations, I oh. can now do this. You know what this reminds me? Well, I'm glad he has a lot of Patreon support. How to cure depression and desi disease with meat only? What? Our carnivore diet. Oh, they just literally Photoshop a picture. Is that the Quake logo in the background? Me off same energy. <laughs> uh, this book is fucking weird. It begins okay. with a short science fiction story about Caban the Space Marine, but then okay. it goes, the soldiers were taught war fighting skills via training simulations. The okay. one the army used was called Quake. Most people oh my it was God. a video game, but the soldiers knew what's up. The reason it was considered to be a video game is because the simulation was based on the real events. And then Real <laughs> events in the... Quake. What? book transitions from a science fiction novel to a player guide on Quake multiplayer. What? <laughs> it's about 60 or 70%. What? <laughs> he just switches halfway into making a guide for Quake. But it is. Strategy, terminology, console commands, team what the fortress hell? classes, tactics for individual maps. This section contains detailed instructions on how to record and play what? match recordings or demos, how they were called. <laughs> are insane they just they just like halfway like yeah so we invaded the space prison um, oh yeah by the way here's quake Which here's how you play quake deathmatch famous players from his era most notably thrash who was the guy who won carmax ferrari in a quake game against entropy okay. in 1997 well this is certainly not what i expected back to planet alcatraz it wouldn't be what I was expecting either. <laughs> to Severny. The name means Northern Town, the biggest settlement in the game, possibly the biggest on the planet. Okay. Smells like the insides of a dead man's asshole. I can feel the stench with my ears. The homeless feel the stench with my the ears. What the hell does that mean? I mean, I guess it means it's so bad that he can feel it with his. Anyway. From Zona, we should change clothes. Stop it! The <laughs> he just keeps dancing. Looks like a giant trash what else can I do, I do like but laugh at this insane game? This insane writer. This insane video game creator. I just have to try to understand. 
I'm not sure. I. Mm. You know what? I'll just keep watching. The people here are no longer dressed in blue robes. Okay. The item description says clothing for homosexuals and prostitutes. A marine would be embarrassed to wear this. Our what? Dudes aren't actually called marines. The game okay. uses the Russian word for paratrooper, so oh. they're like interstellar paratroopers. Okay. In the Soviet and Russian military culture, paratroopers occupy the same space as marines do in the United States. Okay. More badass than the army, less badass than special forces. Okay, that's something that I did actually learn in Russian culture, that for some reason the paratroopers are considered the best of the best in terms of soldiers. So I'm gonna just call them marines for simplicity's sake. Okay, still that's fine. still the clothing from the prom zona, so the gangsters recognize us. I could have reloaded, but effort, opening locks, effort. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play this game again either. Murder. The homeless person has three guns in his inventory. What? He must be from Space America. <laughs> A Russian game, so a lot of alcohol and vodka related humor. Okay. Not required. Stealing from this guy gave me more. So that isn't just a stereotype. Full of monsters. Convicts would randomly engage in these little social fights with one another. We're looking for the hijacker of the Promzona train. Do you know okay. anything about this? Uh, we should move on. A dozen stalls in the market district, and there is a dedicated vendor selling sexy clothing. What? Why? The priest puts us in contact with Blackie, an imperial agent working on the planet undercover. He is our commander. I don't have to say anything about why naming him that is bad, but... I... I just don't know what I should expect, but I expected more. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Maybe I'm slowly going insane. It's always a very strong possibility when you're a VTuber. Ending officer. Behave, soldier, or I'll bring in a pair of strong Negroes. They'll teach you to love the Dear Empire. God. So what do you want Dear God, you I should talk floor, over this because... The toilet is clogged. You can give what? me a pedicure. Or you can find and wash all our socks. These guys really are Imperials. The guards are armed with Imperial blasters. Okay. And game tech. We can't steal them, unfortunately. This is when the game opens up. Severny is like our Baldur's Gate, a hub for questing and trading. Okay. The quests open locations on the world map. The encounters don't appear to be random, however. Some of these locations are generic and honestly quite boring, but there That's are different biomes. Terrible. With different biome appropriate creatures, like whatever this is. What the hell is that? Is a looking thing. It it's reminds me of something I've seen in the It's like a Alcatraz super ostrich. Initially, all our creatures had to be bipedal, so we made an ostrich. But it oh. wasn't a common ostrich, it's a space ostrich. A space it ostrich! Instead of wings, and it poisons you. A hellish creature from a nightmare. What it the ended hell? up being the funniest monster in the game. It migrated to the 3D version. We oh, came up with hell? all sorts of creative legends about the relationship between the ostriches and the negroes. Ostriches think that, well, they don't think anything. <laughs> God, I think I need to skip past this part. Uh, what the fuck? At first he was like, oh, we just wanted to make a silly ostrich that has arms and poison to you. And now I'm gonna... And now the dude... Now the dude is gonna be super racist. Uh, I'm sorry for those who want to see a full reaction, but... Uh, I can't edit to save my life, and I don't feel like going back and seeing what the fuck he was talking about. He brushes away an invisible tear. We are mm. to invade the Yellow Quarter and brutalize Chief Ho from the Golden Rooster a restaurant. By the way, Caban. So if if I had a face you know palm emote, I would. Masks? I would face no. palm. Why? So that the bees won't find out what? what they look like. He gives us a mask. What? <laughs> Whoever offended Blackie should die painfully. Commencing Operation oh Hamster in the Hen House. Follow me, Eagles. My Kung Fu oh my is stronger God. than yours, they yell. The first challenging battle in the game. <laughs> Our guys are very awkward to control. The UI just doesn't feel as responsive as in the Infinity Engine games. The foes have a diverse arsenal of Also, the character models do not look good whatsoever. Poison applied. Oh yes, the sword. This is the aesthetic I was going for with Caban. A sword, shorts, and an Asian hat to imitate a mm. coat cage. 
Что было, шеф, что было? What the hell? You should have seen it, chief. We beat the Chinese hard, but with grace. We did an old man hold, worked on him myself. A heel broke off from my shoe. In short, if I just dead, but I'm not 100%. If I started a drinking game of how many times these guys are being racist, I would be dead. Not only due to the fact that I uh, don't really drink all that much, but because, well, well, you know why. On this. I shouldn't have to explain. Very good. Excellent news, soldier. The service thanks you. Serving the Empire. We got a nice new helmet. Oh. Looks good on you, Caban, says Blackie. Okay. Like you were born in it. When a bullet hits the head, the brain shouldn't splash the individuals around you, sir. What? Replies Caban. What does that mean? Well, it shouldn't the splash board. the individuals around the you? The locals dress well. The roads are paved. You can target individual body parts, just like in Fallout. Critical okay. strike in the head means oh. decapitation. Just look at us. The prestigious gentleman Caban. This is not canon, by the way. Caban uh -huh. hated men who dress well. He never considered oh, wow. to be people, since they knew neither life nor the service. Oh my god, it's more of this Russian communist thought. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go again, back into the fortress. I'm just digging in here, huh? I'm just fundamentally different from what he was made of. Caban thought the material these wretched creatures were made of was dog poop. Writing oh in the God. game is better than in the book. A plantation on a prison planet. It is with a heavy heart that I must announce that white people are at it again. Yet to meet a single oh woman character that wasn't a prostitute. Furious Fist, a fighting ring. The African okay. trainer here can increase our melee skill for 10,000 bucks, which I think is a good deal. This young man's fiance was kidnapped by thugs and brought here to the planet as a female <sighs> here we go. slave. Here we go again. Worry not, my dear. You, Caban is a protector. Of okay, the flower's gone. Or not. Oh. Oh boy. Head to the exit. Leave your things here. Uh, okay, okay. Please don't okay. hurt me. Okay. On the other hand, wait just a second. Oh my God, no. What a strange emotional curve this fucking game has. Yeah! From jokes to pogroms to jokes again to sexual violence to jokes. Yeah, what the hell? The church of whatever the local religion is. Freaking whiplash! Cold. None of the NPCs. Honestly, it's like. getting hit several times while in a car. You're just suddenly a pile up every time I just try and look at something. I don't know what to do. Here are interactable. That's a comfy looking establishment. Reminds me of the bars in Kenshi. That game fucking owned. Let's start a fight. One. I do want to play Kenshi one day. Maybe today won't be a day, but maybe one day. The Fallout ask feature is that if you steal these guys' weapons, they won't be able to use them in combat. I'm not okay. sure if I like the firearm aesthetic in this game. Guns mm -hmm. don't have much of an identity, at least not visually. I can never yeah, remember can what tell. the different types are called. About to check out Planet Alcatraz' vibrant gay scene. Like everything Caban what? does, it ended in violence. Despite the geographical isolation, okay. people in the Asian village seem to be more well off compared to the whites in Severny. Or at least they have more stuff in their pockets. Quite a hmm. few interesting original assets. Too well, bad the engine makes everything look like shit. Age of Decadence yeah. also has this problem. I've been reading the book some more. It's crazy to think of. Oh no, we're going back to the books. But, but everything we've seen so far is Puchkov's interpretation of what the Quake extended universe would look like. What the hell? You know who so was. it's just all of this game. Everything is going on here. It's just Quake fan fiction. That's all it is. That's all it is. I... What the hell? A gamer with a massive impact on online culture. Rich Kiyanka, the guy behind Something Awful, who prior to that used to run GameSpy's Planet Quake. Wuchkov is really an even more evil version of Lotax, but funnier and better at the actual game, probably. He really <sighs> is a man of culture when I it just... comes to Quake. 
Like in this section, what? Bob, <laughs> who is both the author and the character in the book, signs it's praises to Dario Casali, a Doom math maker responsible for some levels in Final Doom, who then also worked on Half-Life 1 and 2, okay. Dead, Portal 2, but most of this was long after Puchkov's book was written. We should stop fucking around and reassemble our space marines. I guess. One of our guys is being sold at the slave market. His name okay. is Okay, we the have to stop them. Coins, but the slaver is willing to exchange our friend for two black slaves. One is available right here at the market. The what? game's UI seems to have a dedicated slot for temporary characters. They don't have dialogue and their inventories are inaccessible. A lot okay. of effort went into making this animation. I'm not Dear gonna bore you with details, but this quest eventually culminates in Caban fighting a horde of starved townsfolk. Pretty sure AOD had a quest like this. That game comes oh, up a lot. Gloomy no. is freed and he joins our group as a permanent companion. His scout skill is almost maxed out, but he has surprisingly low perception. Quite a few points invested in pistols and shotguns. So okay. He's like a close range gunfighter. The locals would randomly make fun of our naked companion, telling him to bend over. Oh, wonderful. That's just, that's just. Moron, uh... but his idle voice barks. Gloomy marks a bunch of new locations on our map, including this one, an Imperial supply capsule, I think. Okay. Hunting, the most dumbass of tactics, breaks many RTWP games, and Planet Alcatraz is no exception. Black people have their own district in Severny, which was just now okay. unlocked for us to visit. This location is called the Dance Floor. The trader here sells rappers. I, I pants, say okay to all of this because some of it is just. Wow. And apparently it's what the author thought would be the Doom Extended Universe. I don't believe that for a second. What the hell? Okay, back into the breach. The very few places in the back game into where women aren't the mines for me. Instead, they are factory workers. The mountain biome has its own nope. music track and creatures. That's some Quite strange. Creatures. What the hell? We get <laughs> porcupines that, that roll. Kruger is captured by the Honestly, that's how some people used to think porcupines would move. Well, actually, they thought that they used their backs to collect like food. In the jungle east of Severny. The I huge gorillas look dangerous, but they actually fail to land a single hit. The wow. The protects us. The cannibal settlement has its own concept art. Which oh, looks wonderful. Great. Eating people is a ritualistic religious thing. The cannibals are a cult. They won't allow us access until we disavow whatever the religion in Severny was called. Quite what? a few unique assets in the village. Every big community in this game has its own style mm. of architecture, which is just just a good RPG practice. I we mean, are invited to an yeah, but with still, this game is Father insane. Bendigo, but our captured maid Kruger keeps communicating with the gestures that something terrible will happen if we go see him. Okay. It's been a while. I thought I'd never smell anything this awful ever again. You should wash uh, my socks then. It would be better if I drown you in a toilet to make this what? wasp's nest unlivable. Kruger is a sniper with nine points in perception okay. and no points in rifles. We'll have to fix this. Holy shit, this is the single most expensive firearm I've seen in this game. An Aryan Town manufactured machine gun that costs half a million Alcatraz rubles, or oh, whatever God. the local currency is called. It's too big to steal. The cannibals are fantastic. Fantastically well armed. The NPCs selling mm. slaves to the cannibals are called Highlanders, what? which is actually a reference to oh. Chechnya. There is this Russian belief that the minorities, the mountain folk, kidnap and enslave tourists. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, this is the belief that they're somehow. I don't even know what to say other than it's just one of those beliefs where, like, yeah, those people that aren't like us, they eat people. It's basically... It's an idea that is proliferated throughout some... Well, in a lot of places back when, you know, you couldn't really just talk to someone from just about anywhere. And they would only come down once in a while to, like, trade with you. Basically, it's being suspicious of... People you don't really know or know a lot about. This country is a mess. Much of the Russian politics is defined by the struggle of two political forces. The Alliance yeah. and the Horde. The Intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> the Warhammer, the Warcraft. A Silovik is... There is this Russian belief that the minorities, the mountain folk, kidnap and enslave tourists. 
This country is a mess. Much of the yeah, Rus you wouldn't. Yeah, especially now. Yeah. Politics is defined by the struggle of two political forces: the alliance and the horde, <laughs> the intelligentsia and the siloviki. Okay. The siloviki is someone with a background in security services. FSB, okay. KGB. This game was made by an ex-cop, which is like a lesser siloviki. Yeah. The cops are goblins to the FSB orcs. Much of what foreigners think they know about the Russian Siloviki culture was actually made up by Tom Clancy to huh. shitty political thrillers. Americans tend to think that I did not know. The FSB or KGB officials as a foreign version of their own spooks, state-employed intelligence professionals, okay. but in Russian hats. In reality, the Silovik culture is more like a combination of QAnon and respect-obsessed gangster culture. And yeah, that's what I heard. They believe in a lot of, basically, oh, the, the CIA did this. That's how they're defeating us. Oh, the CIA did this. It's basically like... Somehow saying that the CIA can basically do anything and they're somehow always plotting against you or planning something. They differentiate themselves from the intelligentsia by being proudly anti-intellectual. There oh, is a what? world of deranged Silovic shit obscured from you by the language barrier. So is basically it, it is quite literally the conspiracy theorist is what I was trying to say. But of course I can't say it right when I'm trying to say it because that's just me. Possible our enemies are undercover Jews working for the British Crown, which secretly rules the world. What? The Americans tried to exterminate. This us is with like COVID. shit about NATO Hollow Earth. Weapon labs in Ukraine will take revenge Thank you. By using oh, someone just randomly followed me over. Of that's my alert for. Tw that's my alert for my streams. Uh, some of you are probably hearing that for the first time. From volcano. Stratagem Gamma activated. Stratagem Gamma activated. What? One of the reasons the Silovic culture is practically <sighs> unknown to foreigners, despite being ubiquitously present anywhere in Russia, is that the Siloviki, they don't really make art. They are not the intelligentsia. This is one of the many layers... Oh, so it's basically just propaganda. It's basically... hitting you over the brick with a... It's... It's basically them preaching to their own choir, saying, These people are bad. These people are horrible. It's all of that uh, stuff. Basically hitting them over the head with a brick that they already own. That's actually a really good metaphor for me. Good job, me. There's a complexity that make Planet Alcatraz a unique experience. It's That's probably the first good metaphor I've made for myself. Literally hitting someone over the brick that already owns the same br kind of bricks. Example of Silovic art. Art is a strong yes, word here. Has access to the Asian quarter in Severny. Previously, it was arbitrarily locked. The side quests we did was the only way of getting here earlier. The house it's a very, very strong cool word nice here. Simple. This is the only place in the game that actually looks comfortable to live in. Kaban is very enthusiastic about potentially learning kung fu from the sensei here. This little building turned out to be a prison where the Asians kept a jailed Aryan what? whom we've accidentally rescued. Okay. Thanks man the reich will not forget this move it uncle fascist get out of here well hello oh, hello cool. hands up bitch while well, you're escaping in broad daylight said there for three day waiting execution kill him yes okay the master race went to heavenly reich the ninja what the hell to travel around the neighborhood ninja people for him easiest side quest ever Let's go around killing people. The bad guy thought it was a stump, and then the sniper blew his brains out. It rhymes in Russian. The third victim what? is in a public place, and the ninja master... Oh, I guess it's supposed to be a him some sort of rhyme to them. It's important to do this, since the games actually does have a crime and punishment system. The cops will come after you if they witness the space marines doing illegal shit. Okay. This is simultaneously the most fun and the worst combat encounter in Planet Alcatraz. I had to reload five times and all because of shit design a group of oh Asians i'm not surprised this is shitly attack. designed okay it's there are a total of five waves stray bullets keep hitting squad mates who kept aggroing on the asians but when the battle huh? actually worked it was glorious so many bodies 
Thank you, O oh great white warrior. Oh, what to commemorate the fuck? this victory, I make myself a tattoo on my belly. The reward is a four what barrel shotgun for Gloomy. The game has a weapon modding feature. You can attach a scope or another barrel grenade launcher to some guns. This mm. little location is called the Policeman Camp. The policemen, like you probably guessed, are a gang. Sort of okay. like the cannibals, but their favorite weapon is a shotgun instead of a machine gun. In combat, Cabal okay. would sometimes spark out a racial slur. This is based on the ethnicity of the specific individual he's fighting. Of course he does. The policemen are multiracial, so all kinds of language is used. Let's rob a bank. When a character what? receives a critical hit, they'll drop their weapon. When fighting multiple enemies, the volume of fire is so large that you would receive many critical hits in a row. Mm. Surprise! Planet Alcatraz has flying creatures. You need oh. ranged weapons to hit them. This is the that only encounter right. type Caban can't solve with a katana. The monastery encounter is a reenactment of the boomer shooter Blood One oh. instead of a boomer RPG. The yellow robed cultist. That's why he has people in rows because he liked Blood One. Rifles. The black ones have pitchforks and are almost entirely harmless. And also because he used a pitchfork. Caban threatens to kill his enemies in a toilet, which is a reference to something. Vlad Banana said during the Second Chechen War, where he promised to kill the nation's enemies everywhere, anywhere, what? even while they're taking a dump. That's the stupid. The main quest eventually leads okay. us to the village of Mombasa. Quite a few settlements in this game. Mombasa? That music. Not a whole lot to do in Mombasa, unfortunately. And then we get what? to Aryan Town, okay. one of the larger communities on the planet. Oh boy, here we go. Don't go there. The fortress is under siege. The monkeys are enraged. Take me off this... <sighs> the flower's coming up. Thing. I want to die. Okay. Like a white man. Uh, great, a freaking... The Aryan Fortress is under siege. Oh my god, I, I'm just gonna face Paul. <sighs> Ugh, what the fuck? Be an internationalist Can I put this on YouTube? And I mean, he yeah. has this video on YouTube, Aryans so I have guess. Technology, like this SMG, designed to resemble the actual yeah. existing Nazi MP40. The Darth yeah, Vader the MP40. mask is good enough for me to permanently retire Caban's cope cage. What the hell? <laughs> it literally is just a Darth Vader mask. A cutscene? This game has cutscenes? The board says whites only. We have goods. Allow us inside to trade, master. Oh boy, here we go again. Can you read? You monkey. Oh boy, here we go. Well, this is different. The Aryans speak Russian with a German accent and what? dress in Wehrmacht style uniforms. It's like something out of a Hearts of Iron mod. The last I missing have... member of our Space Marine squad is kept somewhere in the fortress, but mm. Demon, that's the troop's name, has an escape plan. There is supposed to be a fifth character, but we won't meet him in this game. That's saved for the sequel. The sabotage okay. and reconnaissance squad Upir is reassembled. But yeah, this is like a weird art Hearts Planet of Iron. Alcatraz. But I need to play Hearts of Iron at some point now that I think about it. Sometimes a person would approach me, they would look at my face, and then they would no longer approach me. The what? The Aryan town is the second or third biggest settlement on Does the planet. Does that mean you're scared Depends of his face? From Zona is a settlement or not. The comfy European-y looking fortress is surrounded by slums where the non-Aryans live. Meningitis okay. either kills you or makes you stupid. My brother died, but I survived. Barbarossa is a bar and a gun store. They sell very good assault rifles. I think I'll oh. buy one. We need to equip our boy Demon. Frau Gerda here is an extraordinary case of a woman in this game that is not a sex worker. Wow, that surprised me. The wilderness, not far from the city, a Nazi is having a zombie problem. What? Zombies are in this game? A failed scientific experiment. The oh, secret wow. weapon of the Reich went out of control. I don't get oh, it. Oh my are god. Dead mutants a secret weapon? Yes, oh my god. Basically, our Negro subject suddenly went. Uh, you push, should have pulled that flower up faster. 
Zombies can soak a lot of damage. You sometimes say German words like Alphidacy. Private Caban himself. Look at that. Our people are everywhere. Margaritka here is a member of a woman only squad. What? Sort of like us, but gender swapped. The Nazis captured some of their number and are using them for their sick experiments. Characters can crouch and lie down. I didn't mention this before because it's a lot less useful than it sounds. The game's difficulty sharply spikes after rescuing Demon. This is uncommon in boomer RPGs. Almost all of them have a reverse difficulty curve. Anyway, this is a sequel yeah, hook. That is. Sequel hook? Out of marketing concerns, I thought the sequel should be about women. So we created okay. a little side quest about the reconnaissance team Margaritka. Women sent to a planet where there are no women so they could conduct their sabotage work while remaining undetected. This what? is supposed to be a prologue for a sequel. How does that make any sense? How would they be able to do any sabotage if there, if there's no women here? Wouldn't they immediately be found out? Okay, don't think about it. Don't think about it too much. You're thinking too much about this stupid game now, aren't you? About women or, with tons I'm of talking to myself. I'm going insane. Dimitri said we shouldn't do this plotline. Many people asked, what purpose does this serve? Why does this little side quest seem so out of place in the atmosphere, in the setting of the game? The answer to this question is, I told the designer to make this quest line and he couldn't tell me no. These are my oh, favorite characters. Wow. Nobody else likes them. Power armor is a fun RPG trope. That's not something that's usually good Kuchkov's in gaming. Take on it. The policemen are fighting the Asians who cleverly defend their position with a minefield of poisonous mushrooms. This what? is exactly what I expected it to look like. The prisoner made suit makes one near invulnerable to bullets. This is the weirdest looking power armor I have ever seen. But slows your movement speed quite a bit. There is a perk we can take to counteract this, but it seems like something one should plan in advance. The power armor is named after Puchkov's movie translation brand. Delivered from the word cunt, it means a catastrophic state of affairs. Oh my god. What the fuck? Robots. What the? Robots? The men are the cannibals, which for some How? reason... How? Why would prisoners have robots? In this game. They must be doing something right. What's the secret? The encounter design is getting more complex. The cannibals counterattack us with power armor troops and grenadiers hiding behind them. This oh. is almost fun to play. Almost. Don't get me wrong. Even if we ignore Puchkov's awful politics, this is a frustrating game few will enjoy. Well, I'm glad you're going through it so we don't have to. It's interesting to learn about this stuff, but not interesting enough for me not to groan at a lot of the stuff they say. Let's be honest here. <sighs> like, I've said what and like why and how so many times during this video that... Woo! School is back. Get oh ready my god, Twitch. Check I'm sorry about that. I am really sorry. It just suddenly shot up an ad when I opened a browser to check on something real quick. Kalima. <sighs> the Kalima. locals are trying to resurrect a dead Aryan via a contraption made of ostrich dicks or whatever. I what? have no idea how we got here. I think I blacked out. <laughs> I think I blacked out too. Oh my god, it's working. Let's dance to celebrate. Get the snow girl, they yell. Reminder that our team's mission on the prison planet is to discover the location of a starship the inmates are supposedly building in secret. This is an Asian operated construction site. The what? You're out of your mind, fucking cosmonauts, says Gloomy. We give the coordinates to the commanding officer Blackie back in Severny. He calls the space station Cerberus. Okay, so they're just gonna. Yeah. But there is a problem. It wasn't a spaceship. It was a spaceship-shaped house the Asian community was building for one of their leaders to commemorate the Chinese achievements in space oh exploration. God. Blackie says we're too fucking stupid to work for him, so we should talk to the Imperial agent in Aryan Town instead. Okay. The Aryans are probably the ones building the spaceship, says the agent. They have the technology and they're motivated. We should infiltrate their ranks. It's easy to do since the Aryans are relatively small in number and extremely paranoid about the great replacement. They dress up Caban oh. in a Nazi uniform and give him an MP40. I just don't know what to think about any of this, dear God. For multiple attempts to get into our city without proper documents. What? Oh. Self-evident racial inferiority. 
Oh my god. Uh, Come on. I ordered you to commence execution. I don't think there is a way out of this without clicking the prisoner. This is yes. the main quest, by the way. Her Marshal. Her Marshal. The enemies <sighs> of the city are exterminated without mercy. We get insight into the social conflicts of I'm the greater planet here. Alcatraz. Why am I alive? The Aryans, according to the Marshal, are dissidents, political prisoners in the Empire. This is also where we hit okay. a game breaking oh. bug. Black screen that never goes away. I had to execute well, then. these poor guys a dozen or so times while I tried different solutions. People were telling me there is no fix. I even thought about tweeting at the developer. Hey, uh, <laughs> the game stops working after that scene where we join the Nazi party and execute people for racial inferiority. What should I do? Oh Did my god. The <laughs> cash worked, allowing me I was to surprised that. Anyway, Caban didn't remain in Gestapo for long. We quickly learned that yes the Aryans are building a starship specifically to evacuate their leader the supposed so they they're already telling a grunt about this genius of planet so that he could command their forces against the Empire hopefully we can win back Blackie's respect the Cerberus station main weapon overheated after firing on the Chinese residents we'll have to take care of things ourselves okay. to assist us in this our looks mission the Imperials linear. will drop a package somewhere in the desert why the only ethical characters in planet Alcatraz. The different kinds. The the only in the game and I'm not gonna, okay so doesn't the... restrict movement we also get new guns there are different kinds the imperial weapons skill was 100% useless until now oh. the reason they have a railgun in this game is because it's an iconic quake 2 weapon oh. although it looks very different here for legal reasons in the book the instructor explains to here we how a railgun works and then spells out a quake 2 console command that disables the annoying effects this is all written in universe and then there is this thing. A bomb, gloomy, is something they drop from the sky, said Goblin with a condescending tone. I get it, I get it. So this is like an explosive mine. It is. Is it potent? Mm -hmm. I'd say it's what? extra potent. Not I'm, just I'm losing my mind. Can help me, please target. help me. It's a Satan class extermination device, more popularly known what? as Mommy. The starship is being constructed in the cannon. Help me, the cannibal everyone. Cannibal. Despite our technological advantage, they still Okay, pose so a yeah, they Some now the have their super weapons from their empire to come There's in a weapon to we stop even everyone. Seen before. These can one shot even fully armored space marines. Believe it or not, it's mm. actually possible to side with the cannibals, at least according to this walkthrough. Admittedly, uh -huh. some of these plot elements sound what? like an elaborate joke, but then again, it's planet fucking Alcatraz. The caverns. Everything sounds like a really, really, really bad joke in this game. By the Aryans who do all the actual construction. The Aryan Cannibal Pact, a cap. They have plenty of power armor. Just because we got endgame equipment doesn't mean the combat suddenly becomes fun or a cakewalk. Look wow. how easy it is to get stun locked. The actual starship is That's hidden terrible. on the ground, and it looks like something out of Star Trek. The new yeah. Star Trek, even. It's cool that the Imperial technology looks distinct from the prisoner-made craft we've been using previously, but it feels like a Nazi starship should look more, I don't know, Nazi-like. Yeah. Hold fire, hold fire. I am the pilot of this ship. I'm the only one who can fly it. You won't leave this planet without me. Oh, they're gonna shoot him anyway. The destruction of yeah. the starship doesn't immediately end the game. You can still fuck around and finish whatever side quests, but this is a Why would you want adventure. to? 30, 40 hours or so. By this 30 or 40 hours for all this? The shuttle is sent to extract us. This is the closest thing the game has to an end boss. Access to the shuttle is blocked by a mechanized Aryan force, led by the same genius general they were trying to get off planet. My god, we will oppress you a little. One of the few oppress battles you a little? where I actually had to micromanage my characters. The space marines celebrate with alcohol. What the hell? Commander, we should leave, said Tarzan, grimacing from pain. Tarzan? means no power source for the Teutonic stabilizer. If we fail to find the elevator, we won't what make it. Doing? We'll be buried beneath the rubble. Caban looked at Goblin. Should we go? Goblin raised his... What the hell? <laughs> this book is insane. This game is insane. And I think I'm going insane from all this. Thank you, Warlock, for showing me the craziness that goes on in the Eastern Bloc. 
his index finger and said, Not to our pants! And then they ran. The reward for completing the game is the Space Marine song. What? What the fuck am I hearing? Platform Patreon. So, Planet okay. Alcatraz, what a strange experience this is. Explaining this game to an Anglophone audience is like trying to explain mm. Family Guy jokes to a 90-year-old Siege of Leningrad survivor. In oh. the Steam reviews, the Russians are having a mini culture war over this game. Most of, of the dialogue course. is written in the criminal slang, which Russians recognize as something low status, something below them. But this is false. Planet Alcatraz is not even a bad game. Goblin what? Puchkov is a genuine artist. It's what? just his medium is racism, rape, and war crime denial. The brush, the canvas. The views I'm, I'm pretty the sure that's not... Really mainstream, especially among older folk. In 2019, Goblin was given an honor of addressing Vlad Putin during an annual oh press conference. God. They very <laughs> carefully filter people for these. So when I said he could become the president one day, I was only half joking. If you think oh. the mainstream role pushed Puchkov to modernize, Moderate himself. It's actually the opposite. Of course. Jesus Christ, Dmitri, you senile fuck. Your wife is Jewish. Thought about leaving the Quake book here for someone to find, but a book on boomer shooter deathmatch advice might be useful for future videos. Gonna do something with good vibes next. Well then. I don't think I have the stomach for another one yet. So, if you like this video and you like me so slowly going insane to watching this, please do consider uh, subscribing, checking out my Patreon, anything watched over on my Patreon is one dollar. Except for some of the common rare specials. And yeah, thank you all so much and I'll see you guys later. I need to go lie down.